do subscribe to ekeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello friends in the last lecture we have studied that how can we determine the oxidation number of a particular element or an atom present in a molecule so now based on that we are now going to classify whether the reaction can be oxidation or can be reduction so let us see how can we do with the help of the oxidation number method as present on the screen there is an equation which relates that fe3 plus ion is now converting into fe2 plus ion so we have to mention whether this process is oxidation or this process is reduction as we can see the oxidation number of this fe ion is 3 plus so therefore the oxidation number of fe in fe 3 plus is nothing but 3 plus itself while in case of fe 2 plus it is Two plus. So, because in this case the oxidation number is changing from plus three to plus two, so in this case we can see a decrease in oxidation number. And whenever we could find a decrease in oxidation number, it means it is a reduction process. How? Because this Fe three plus will only be converted into Fe two plus if it accepts an electron. If it accepts one electron, then only this three plus oxidation number will be converted into this two plus. And since it is accepting an electron, so the acceptance of electron is nothing but reduction. So therefore, the overall reaction is it is a reduction process. So this was the first example. Let us find out the next example, and let's see whether you could do it or not. So this is an equation which is basically unbalanced, and we have to determine that whether it is a oxidation reaction or a reduction reaction. So as we can see, this Mn that is manganese oxide, which has a oxidation number of minus one, is now been converted into Mn two plus. So we cannot predict that the reaction is oxidation or reduction directly. But for that we have to know what is the oxidation number of Mn, because in this case the manganese which has a plus two charge, and in this case not only manganese is present, in this case oxygen is also present. So first of all we have to determine what would be the oxidation number of manganese in manganese tetraoxide ion. So let us calculate. This is a normal method that we have initially did, but we are going to do it now. So let us do it in a very simple way. So therefore, the oxidation number of the molecule MnO4 minus is one minus. So because of the help of this, we could calculate that the manganese which is present one times plus the oxygen molecules which are present four times. And overall, the charge of the MnO4 minus one is minus one. So therefore, the value of oxidation number of Mn I have took it as x plus the oxidation number of oxygen is minus two, or we could say it as two minus into four, which is equals to. Minus one. Therefore, the x will have a value of minus one, and in this case is plus eight. So overall, the answer is seven. But if we represent the oxidation number of Mn as the oxidation number of Mn in MnO4 minus is seven plus. So So now only we could relate that what would be the reaction. So the answer that we could get 
is when Mn which has an oxidation number of 7 plus is being converted into Mn which has an oxidation number of 2 plus. In this case, this Mn7 plus is converted is converted into Mn2 plus. This will only occur if Mn7 plus accepts electron. So how much electron it should accept? This is the data that we should also know because this would help in the future uh, thing to solve the concept of uh, redox reaction. So in this case, Mn7 plus will accept five electrons then only it could convert into mn2 plus so in this reaction electron is been accepted by the reactant molecules means the overall mno4 minus manganese tetroxide ion then only this could convert to mn2 plus so therefore since it has been accepting electron so therefore this overall process where MnO4 minus is converting into Mn2 plus is a reduction process or a reduction reaction. So let us do it for another example. This one. So in this case, we are going to determine the oxidation number of chlorine atom instead of oxygen because as we can see the oxygen number here is 3 while here is 2 but the common thing that we could observe in the both the reactant and uh, the product is the Cl that is chlorine atom is present one times. So in this case what we are going to do is now we are determining the oxidation number of chloride atoms in this case for the both one. So therefore for ClO3 minus the oxidation number of the whole molecule is 1 minus so therefore for ClO3 minus Cl is been repeated one times and there is presence of three times oxygen and the overall charge is 1 minus or we could say minus 1 therefore I have took the value of oxidation number of chloride atoms as x into 3 into the oxidation number of oxygen is minus 2 or 2 minus as we could say I could write it in this way so as to get an answer as x plus minus 6 which is equals to minus 1 therefore x in this case will be plus 5 so the oxidation number of Cl in ClO3 minus is 5 plus while now we are going to check or we are going to determine the oxidation number of so now we are going to determine the oxidation number of CLN ClO2 minus molecule or ion so now we are going to determine the oxidation number of Cl present in ClO2 minus. So therefore for ClO2 minus the oxidation number is of the whole molecule is 1 minus. So therefore it could be written as 1 times of Cl plus 2 times of oxygen that is I have written as oxy and the overall charge is minus 1. So I have considered the value of uh, oxidation number of uh, chlorine atom in ClO2 as x plus 2 into the overall uh, oxidation number of oxygen is minus 2. So therefore x will be nothing but minus 1 plus 4 because this minus 4 have uh, shifted over here so this will be 3. So again in this case the Cl molecule Cl atom in ClO2 minus will have an oxidation number of 3 plus. So overall as you can see
So overall, as you can see, the Cl, the Cl atom, which initially had an oxidation number of plus 5, is being converted into an oxidation number of plus 3 or 3 plus. It is only possible if it accepts electron. So therefore, in this process, the ClO3 minus, which is converted into ClO2 minus, will be a reduction process. So moving towards the next example. This one. So this is bromine ion that is Br minus which is converting into Br2 that is bromine molecule. So the bromide is converting into bromine. In this case the oxidation number of the bromine atom is nothing but minus 1 or we could say as 1 minus. So I could write it as the oxidation number of bromine atom in Br minus is 1 minus. Why? The oxidation number of Br in Br2 that is bromine that is in bromine molecule will be we can easily calculate it. How? The bromine molecule doesn't have an oxidation number. So therefore I could write Br which is present one times plus again Br that is bromine atom which is present one times and the overall charge is zero. Therefore the Br which has a oxidation number of x if I would consider then x plus x and overall charge is zero. Therefore 2x is equals to zero therefore x is nothing but zero itself so this is the oxidation number of bromine in br2 so therefore the oxidation number of bromine in br2 is zero Therefore, the overall reaction says that Br minus, that is bromide ion, is converting into bromine molecule in which the brom in which the bromide ion has a oxidation number of minus one, that is one minus, and the bromine atom in Br two has an oxidation number of zero. So, in this process, as you can see, the oxidation number is been increased yes so minus one is converted into zero which means the oxidation number is being increased so this is only happened when an oxidation reaction would have taken place let me give an example of this thing by elaborating it this br which has a oxidation number of minus one will convert into the oxidation number zero if this Br minus have donated an electron at least. So since it is an unbalanced reaction, I could write it as two times of Br minus will convert Br2 by giving two electrons. And in this process, since the electron has been lost by the bromide ions, so therefore it is said to be an oxidation process so therefore the overall reaction is nothing but an oxidation process so this is how we can calculate or we could determine whether the reaction is oxidation or reduction with the help of oxidation number method so these are the four examples where we have differentiated that which one is oxidation and which one is reduction so i hope you have got an idea so thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you have liked this video and please don't forget to subscribe Ikeda channel. Thank you so much.